And while the Trump campaign celebrated a win in South Carolina on Saturday night, Nikki Haley's campaign was also touting a victory of sorts despite this loss. Our campaign reporter, Jackie Coppell, is live in Charleston, South Carolina this morning. Jackie, good morning. So what's the mood like in the Haley camp? The mood is positive. She beat polling expectations, and while she lost her home state, she did so by 20 points, not the 35 that had been predicted. Now, Haley understands that she has a tough road ahead of her, and so do her supporters, but they remain excited about her candidacy. Take a listen. She's been the underdog before. She always comes through. We believe in her. We believe this can happen. She's a terrific fighter. She's not going to give up. We're sort of at a crossroads. And not only is Biden old, but I think Trump is becoming unhinged. And I have a gut feeling that something's going to happen. He's going to implode himself. So I really think that there needs to be an alternative or the Republicans oh are going to be stuck. It. Donald Trump's legal troubles and the idea that we don't really know what's going to happen in the next few months was brought up by several voters I spoke with. They're looking for an alternative to Donald Trump, and Nikki Haley wants to give them an option, saying, we don't anoint kings in this country. So is the fact that she's still pulling in big donations, her spokesperson was on last week, I think 14 million in Texas in a month, um, a million in one week just last week, is that giving her hope? heading into Super Tuesday, just all that money coming in. Certainly. I spoke with an official who is with the Super PAC that supports Haley, and they said that they thought she hit the threshold that donors needed to see to keep going. They think she has momentum leading into Michigan and Super Tuesday states. Speaking of that momentum that she's hoping for, they're looking at Vermont, Virginia, Utah, for places where she might be able to pull off an upset. Remember, Nikki Haley appeals to Republican voters, but specifically college-educated suburban voters, the very ones you need to win a general election. And that's one of the core premises of her campaign, that she's the best candidate to beat President Biden in the fall. And if you look at polling, she would beat Biden handily, whereas Donald Trump is within the margin of error. So while Donald Trump had a good night last night, he's still struggling with the voters he would need to win in November. That same official said that Nikki Haley is actually making the case for the future of the GOP after Trumpism. The next 10 days will likely tell us if that future is now or sometime down the line. Either way, Haley heads to Michigan today, and then it's on to Super Tuesday states through March 5th. Jackie Copel live in Charleston, South Carolina, in front of the USS Yorktown, I believe. Thank you so much, Jackie. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.